All right, this is SAT prep. We're doing test three, section four, and this is number 24. Mr. Cole has a beaker containing N milliliters of solution to distribute to the students in his chemistry class. If he gives each student three milliliters of solution, he will have five milliliters left over. In order to give each student four milliliters of solution, he would need an additional 21 milliliters. How many students are in the class? So this is deceptive because we have this N that we don't know anything about, but that's not the question we're asked. We're asked how many students are in the class. So I'm going to go ahead and call X the number of students. So I'm going to call X the number of students, right? So here's what we know. If he gives each student three milliliters, he'll have five milliliters to spare. So I know that N is three times the number of students plus the random five milliliters that are left over. But I also know that if he gives every student 4 milliliters, he's actually going to end up short 21 milliliters, meaning that N is 4 times the number of students, but uh-oh, he's short 21 of the milliliters he needs. These two equations are enough to let me solve for X, because I now know, since they're the same N either way, I can set them equal and solve. So 3X plus 5 has to equal 4x minus 21. I'm going to move all my x's to the right-hand side in this case because it gives me a positive 1. So I'm going to get 5 equals x minus 21. So 26 is my x, right, which is answer D. Now, if you wanted to check that you were right, if you were nervous about it, you could make sure you get the same n when you try both of the equations. If I try the blue equation, I get n equals 3 times 26 plus 5, and I can type that in my calculator to make sure I'm right. So 3 times 26 plus 5, oh, my bad, sticky button, I get that, that, that n would be 83 milliliters that he has, and I'm going to double check that if I do the other one, right, if I try uh, 4 times 26 minus 21, I also get 83. So 4 uh, times 26 minus the 21, hit enter, oh, my bad, ignore that 44 at the beginning, and there we have it. So we get an 83, so it does check out, that's the value I want, and my answer is 26.